All right, I'm here with Potomac Head basketball coach Keith Honore. His team wins it by a count of 60 to 55 over John Champ in the Region 6B quarterfinals. We won the semifinals at 14 and 6 overall. Coach, this was a battle tonight with John Champ. You knew coming in they were athletic, they could shoot the ball, probably a little bit more athletic and shot it better than you wanted them to in the third quarter. They sure. took the lead back, but you guys stayed composed, got behind your fans, and uh, your stabilizing force and your son, point guard Kyle Honore, to get done down the stretch. Sure. Yeah, I mean that was that was a good team. They they create you know some matchup nightmares for you with a six seven point guard. Then um, they they got those two shooters on the edge, and you know you you gotta you you, know, you can't be helping as hard as you like to. And then if you do, you got forty four. I mean a four coming downhill on you. So they 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 create some problems for you. But our kids, you know, we had to make adjustments several times through the game, and our kids did a masterful job of uh, making the adjustment and doing the things we needed to do and making plays when we needed them to. You don't usually call a timeout that early when you're down 5 nothing, but out of it, you guys got more deflections. You took the lead 17-10 to 10 at the end of one quarter. How big was that to not get too far behind, knowing this isn't one of the vintage groups that has just the firepower to yeah. overwhelm somebody if you get behind 8, right. 10, 12 points? Well, that, that's it. You know, we, we had to, I had to stop the bleeding early. You know, I didn't want to bleed out, so to speak. So, uh, you know, it's kind of hard when you, when you get down 10 or 12 and give a team confidence it becomes really, really hard. You know, we hadn't had the depth that we had in the past to throw a bunch of energy at it and then try to finish down the stretch. So I called the timeout early. You know, I jumped on Kyle pretty hard, and I jumped on some other guys pretty hard, and they responded. You know, and it, this, this group's been that way all year long. I can coach them really, really hard. Uh, unlike today's generation, I can coach them really, really hard, and they respond. You know, they don't, they don't quit on us. They don't go in the tank. Um, and that's a credit to their character. You know, they they, they, they want to win. So we're going to fight it out till the end. When you responded to on your home floor with a couple calls going against you before the break, including one where a guy just bowled over one of your guys and they missed it. But second half, they get hot from three. I thought one of the guys, certainly early Frankie Lee had some buckets this season. Mm -hmm. I know he fouled out double-double, 10 points, 10 rebounds. But we mm -hmm. saw Terrence Bethea, mm -hmm. who you've told me since he was a freshman, has got a lot of potential. He came through with, I thought, some strength in the paint when it was kind of a nip-and-tuck, one-possession game, a couple of key buckets to keep them from going back in front in the fourth quarter. Sure. The thing he did, the, the most impressive thing Terrence did tonight was um, uh, Kid 4 was, was really uh, putting it on us in the first half. We switched him, put him on him. He only scored six points in the second yeah. half. So Terrence did a lot of things well that was visible, but the things that he did that were really impressive aren't going to show up on the stat sheet. Is that just his strength, though? His pure body? You know, he's, he's a lot, you know, he's, he's just a, he, he's, in a lot of ways, he's a lot more mature, okay. you know, as a sophomore, you know, he's locked in right now, he's focused, and the most important thing about that kid is he's a winner. You know, he's a kid, you know, uh, uh, you, you can call him a Swiss Army nice, nice, so to speak, but there's nothing he can't do. He guarded the post for a little while, and then we put him on the point guard. You know, that's a credit to his athleticism and his, and, and his IQ. Yeah, and you gave him the ball to help bring up the floor, too, a couple times, yeah. and you gave Kyle a breather or took him off the ball. Uh, in addition, uh, we see a young man, a newcomer for you, Jaden Harris, 6'6", six, mm -hmm. six junior. has got a lot of potential. Didn't have his best night, but, boy, he came yeah. up through with some key rebounds and made some crucial free throws down the stretch. Yeah, it's been, you know, it's been, it's tough trying to throw a kid like that in the atmosphere. I think this is only maybe his fifth game, maybe his fourth or fifth game. You know, it's tough to try to throw him in here in this type of atmosphere and expect him to know what we know. Mm -hmm. You know, so the thing that we tell him is, look, play really, really hard and make good basketball plays. The rest will take care of itself. But it's it's been a help having him, absolutely. A couple more for you, let's run. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys lost, I think it was four in a row at one point. We did. Yep. And you won the Cardinal District Tournament Championship. A mm -hmm. month ago, I mentioned this to Kyle, your son. I'm not sure this is a game you win. Tonight you did. Why so? You know, I, I, I don't... I don't you know, I'm pretty honest with you. I, I don't know that we don't win this game a month okay. ago. Uh, those kids in there are resilient. You know, we were just, we were doing a pretty poor job of coaching them during that four-game stretch. Mm -hmm. So I have to take more credit for those four losses than they do. But they've always been able to adjust and do what we asked them to do and play hard. So I'm not going to sell them short tonight okay. and say that they would have lost that game. I still would have put my money on Potomac. Uh, with, without the 6-6 six, six journey. Sure. sure. Yeah. Well, you definitely like the way you guys have finished up here. As you go into sure. a rematch with Patriot, your former assistant in Potomac, Greg mm -hmm. Rivers, who has an undefeated team. Mm -hmm. Certainly they have big goals. They beat you guys in game one. Mm -hmm. If you guys can bottle up the free throw shooting of 23 of 26 tonight, 12 of 14, I believe it was in the fourth quarter, you're going to mm -hmm. have a chance, assuming it is down the stretch. Sure. Game's in the bag. or Game's up for grabs. You can have it possibly sure. in your bag.
Yeah, I mean, you know, we got our hands full. You know, they're 22 and 0 or 23 and 0 for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know, he's done a really good job of coaching those guys. They play really hard and they play really well together. So we got our hands full. But you know, at this time of the year, every game you play, you're going to have your hands full. You know, we're going to treat that game like any other game. We're going to prepare tomorrow. We're going to get on the bus. We're going to drive out there, and we're going to give it. We're going to give it. We're going to throw everything at it. Sure to be a battle when the Panthers go to Nokesville to take on the unbeaten pioneers of Patriot. Thank you so much. All the best. All right. Thank you guys for coming out. Okay. Thank you.